there is a scary phenomenon sweeping the nations. Skin bleaching. Skin bleaching is a procedure, a daily usage routine of bleaching one's skin to make it white as desired, away from one's original complexion. Skin bleaching, better known as bleaching creams, whiteners, brighteners, and lightening creams. Bleaching products also comes in forms of a pill injection, lotion form, soap, and oil. You can also go to a local physician for a chemical skin pill. Or you can use natural bleaching agents. The products are essentially catered to people with skin complications such as freckles, age spots, acne scars, and dark spots. However, most people are using the products on their entire body to bleach it, their skin from head to toe. So, of course, that would be a great choice to use them, being that these bleaching products were used specifically for and made specifically for blemishes such as freckles, pregnancy patches, or dark spots. However, due to the fact that this trending topic has gotten a dramatic number of people changing their entire parents, is becoming a tragic story. A long line of fixed mindsets of people thinking that they have to meet a eterocentric beauty I agree standard. that the mass media is also pushing this agenda, as well as the entertainment industry and the influencers that are in it. I remember when I was younger and I was growing up, I used to get teased for being dark skinned. And I always wanted to have lighter skin growing up and I used to always wonder why? Why can't I be dark why did I have to be dark skinned? Why can't I be lighter? Later on in life I learned to love myself. I learned to embrace my beauty and I figured find out that nothing was wrong with me. But the fact that I was young, I didn't understand who I fully was as an individual and my rights, that which led me to think and believe that I needed to change. And all I needed to change was my mindset and the way I perceived myself. There is a major problem with race bending and whitewashing in Hollywood. They end up with minor roles that only serve to supplement the role of the white lead. With the stereotype roles, for instance, if you're Middle Eastern, you'll be called a terrorist. If you're black, you'll be considered ghetto. Nina Simone was a civil rights activist as well as a singer. Actress Zoe probably did an amazing job in the film. However, does it capture the essence of Nina Simone? When you look imagery-wise, does it represent who she was as a person and an individual? Sometimes it's not just about how powerful the performance is. It's about how it looks, what is said, and what it represents. Another issue is black A-listers bleaching their skin. We all heard about the situation that went viral with Little Kim showing her before and after pictures. Young girls worshipping and following celebrities like Beyonce, bleaching their skin, being influenced to be something that they're not, changing their physical appearance just to feel accepted and beautiful for themselves and society. They have a major influence on kids as well as a global scale of individuals around the world. Listen to this famous African pop singer promoting and normalizing 
the use of skin bleaching. Here's several cases in Africa of women acknowledging the harmful risks involved and still bleaching anyways. Nicious. White nicious means white means pure. White means, but it doesn't mean that white skin, but white in general. That's how I look at it. It means pure. When you have dark spots, a lot of people don't feel confident. They don't feel pure. They don't feel clean with dark but spots. With respect, the photos of you before and the ones you used to promote your cream, it yeah. looks like a lot more than small dark spots have been removed. But, you're but visibly see, lighter all over. But see, and I the wasn't... point is, if that is the image you're putting forward to sell your product, you must think. That's better. It if works for dark spots. That's what he says. Say goodbye to dark spots. Fina Ikeji, how do you respond to what Densia is saying? She's right, isn't she? This is about yes. freedom of choice. Yes, exactly. And it's, it, it's, it's in her own opinion. The, the, the question now is, and it really, it's really important about the message that we're bringing across. Because, yes, you've got your, you've got your opinion. Um, but what, you've, what you're producing, I mean, the name as well is just... The name says it. The name says white delicious. It means... You know, it, that's, it's just the name. You know, you, you put, you're talking about the name. You've, you've, we've got old pictures of you and pictures of you now. And for young girls, because that's, that's where I'm looking at. I'm an adult, so I've already made up my choice. I'm happy with my skin color. But we're looking at the young girls that are growing up now. They see you, they love your music, they love you as a person, and they've seen you that you were darker before and now you're much lighter. What's the message it's gonna be to them? They're gonna think, okay, do you know what? I want to be like her as well. But, and then that affects their self-esteem. And that's where we're coming from. We don't want to have lots of young girls who have low self-esteem because these low self-esteem leads to other things. It's, we're talking about, you know, being promiscuous. We're talking about so many other things that being with a, having a low self-esteem can cause. And that's, that's the point okay, I see. Okay, made that Fina no, is making. But listen, my role model when I was growing up was my older sister right in my house, Wendy Sonke. She's your skin color. Mm -hmm. She never touched her skin. She never changed her skin. But I love her. I love how she lives her life. She's a good person. That's my role model. That's why I wanted to do music. That's why I wanted to become famous. But she never changed her skin. It doesn't mean that when you when you want some when somebody's your role model, pick out the good things in the person and do it. You don't have to. I didn't say if you want to be an artist, you don't have to be light skin. There's numerous dark skin artists out there if you want to look like them. Mm -hmm. There's many confident women, and your skin color does not reduce or increase your confidence. We'll do our hair. You know, you can colour your hair, you can change your clothes, put makeup on. Why is this different? This is different because of the consciousness. And you're, you're a pop star, so people are looking up to you. Whether, whether you want to believe it or not, people are looking up to you. I do, but so, I'm not. Yeah, so, your and then, mother had your mom. And then if you, if parents you... Parents need to raise their kids. My grandma raised me. Yeah, but, they, yeah. And I chose my things. When I didn't do any... When I moved out of the house, I moved to L.A. I was 18. Mm -hmm. I turned 21 and I One did what point, I wanted to do. One point, the fact that you yourself have chosen to, to become lighter, mm -hmm. does that say you were uncomfortable? Does that say no, that I you wasn't. felt things weren't no, working for I you? No, I wasn't. Never, I wasn't uncomfortable. It just happened the same as people just decide to bleach their hair, dye their hair where it's the same as like you want to wear lipstick you could have gone natural mm -hmm. with just your lips cracked and dark Actually, like how, you how dangerous a message do you think it, it is I just I just think it's too dangerous for the young for the young girls coming up I mean as adults we're, 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 we're good you know adults have made up their minds hopefully and there's been that stigma right from history to do with lighter and darker skin so even if you're not saying it in writing Yes, to be whiter is better. The message is still there. Fina Akechi, thank you very much. Densia, thank you very much for coming in. I'm criticized for not only promoting skin lightening, but also self-hatred among women of color. Densia. No, white niches, the, pro the name came from um, the product being the color white. Mm -hmm. And secondly, I just wanted something fun. You know, when I saw the thing you did one time last time on your Facebook mm -hmm. where you cut, up, you cut out an interview that I did and that said white means pure. I never meant the skin color or race. Okay. We were talking about why I named the product white niches mm -hmm. and white, the color white is associated with purity. And most people, when they have like dark spots and stuff, they don't feel like they're pure and clean and stuff like that. So it was just a way of saying that this is it. Is a, you know, the dictionary says white is pure. It's not a skin tone, it's mm -hmm. not a race. So I just want to clear that up because people have taking that thing and turn it into something else, which it's not. Why do you lighten your skin? And, and let me ask, when we talk about, in part of the, some of the stories we've done, it's this whole image that Western society puts on us. We've got a Kerry Washington, who was recently on an InStyle magazine cover. She was criticized. The magazine was, was criticized because it appeared 
they lightened her skin or they lightened the filter on it. And typically, I guess the magazine has a history of when they put a, a brown skinned person on the cover, they lighten it. I don't know if the, the thought process is that they're going to sell more magazines. But why did you lighten your skin? Again, it's a personal choice. I just, it just happened. I have medical reasons and I also have personal reasons. It Do you think happened. that it, your skin looks better, lighter? Do you feel no, like you I look, look better, lighter than you did when you were brown? No, I, I've, I'm the same person. I look, I've been, I was beautiful before. I'm still beautiful now. My heart is the same. I, I haven't changed. I still do the same things I've been doing. I still hang out with the same people. I talk to the same people. My career is, like, everything is the same. It hasn't changed. Most people will say that maybe I did it because of Korea. What? No, it, it's not. It's not. It's not. Uh, you know, most people associate it with hate, but it's not about hate. Like, they, there's many alien celebrities who have lightened their skin. Absolutely. We all know them. You think they hate themselves? I don't think so. It just happened. But did they do it because the industry wanted them to, or because they would be better crossing over with a different community? I don't think so. Let me tell you why I don't think so. Personally, I'm not a sign artist. I funded my career from scratch myself. Mm -hmm. I'm very hardworking. I was able to, because I design, I do, I design everything I wear. I design for a lot of celebrities too. Um, I'm into fashion and all these things. So I don't have any pressure from anybody to do anything to me because at the end of the day, I own what I do. I'm me and my brand. Nobody does anything to me. So I didn't have any pressure. It just happened. I did it because I did it. Briefly, let me ask you, if you have a daughter and mm -hmm. she wants to lighten her skin, because, you know, what will you say to her? Will you let her do it? Um, until that time comes, I don't know what I will say because right now I'm, I'm somebody's child. I was raised by my grandmother. And my grandmother doesn't sit and is worried about what's happening to me because she knows that I'm doing what I, what I did is safe. My grandmother sat down and she talked to me. It's the same like a few years ago I had a breast augmentation. Mm -hmm. And my grandmother, she freaked out. And unfortunately for me, my body rejected it. So I had to take it out so I don't have it anymore. And, and that freaked her out. So now she will be like, well, it is very safe. Compared to me going to a dermatologist in America where if you had dark spots, they will prescribe you hydroquinone 4%. And I know that out of experience, you get what I'm saying? And dermatologists will sit here and tell you stories, but that's what they prescribe and they'll tell you it's controlled. But how do you control something I take home with me? Well, I think they control it because you're supposed to come back in on a regular they basis so you. they can determine how long you're supposed to use it and when people are buying products either online or buying them in stores where it's it, it's not under the guise of a medical professional, they may be using it for years and medical professionals say if you do that, you could develop steroid acne, you could develop uh, um, stretch marks all over your body or, or, or possibly even skin cancer. It's her skin, but because she also has a line of skin lightening products called White Nicious, they're advertised as dark spot removers that can work in three days to two weeks. Densia has been criticized for not only promoting skin lightening, but also self-hatred among women of color. Densia joins us live this morning. Thanks so much for being here. Hi, good morning. Thank good you morning. for having me. Let me ask you, you were born in Cameroon. You grew up in, in West Africa, but now you live here in the United States. Yes, ma'am. Um, it's widely known that the practice of skin lightening goes on in Africa. As you grew up as a child, did you see women around you lightening their skin? Um, no, I technically didn't. Like, um, I do think that there's really a lot of misconception um, about this. I travel the world and I go to Africa a lot because I do music mm -hmm. and that I go to a lot of places like the market and you don't see a lot of women who lighten their skin. Mm -hmm. The reason being, you know, a lot of people, the, the people who do this are people who have money because the average person is worried about food and upkeep, you know, how it is out there. So they really don't have money to spend on that. The World Health Organization says a quarter of women in Senegal use skin lightening products regularly. The products can contain mercury or caustic agents like sodium hydroxide. These dangerous ingredients can be disfiguring and even cause cancer. But as VOA's Ann Look told me, some women in the capital, Dakar, say the risks are simply the price of beauty. So Ann, this skin lightening trend that you reported on out of Senegal, how common is this? It's really common um, in Senegal and throughout the region, throughout the continent, really. For, for a while there, people didn't really understand the health impacts, you know, what serious health consequences these, these creams, these soaps can, can pose. But that lately, for example, in Senegal, there's been a lot of public education. You know, people, women are starting to realize how dangerous these products are, but they continue to use them. And that's what I found so interesting for the story was to kind of talk to women about why do they keep doing it. 
Women in Senegal say they lighten their skin for the same reasons women the world over say they tweeze, squeeze or otherwise alter their bodies in sometimes dangerous ways to achieve a certain standard of beauty, to catch a husband, to stand out in the crowd, to smooth out imperfections, to get ready for a special event. You know, the, the worst offenders, the women who really engage in some of the most dramatic skin lightening, you know, are village women who come and move to the city and kind of want to look big city, want to look more successful, want to look more in, more on trend, etc. And then the other thing is that it represents a certain level of success. I mean, these products are expensive. A typical clerk, Adama Jane, says she uses a similar cream. And she tells clients to avoid the stronger ones that promise fast, dramatic results. It is a personal choice. No one pressures me. Some women want to be black every day, but I prefer to be a shade of brown. It's better for me. I like it.